Hi everyone, so today we are doing a look inspired by this magazine photo and this is from the Michael Kors Runway Spring Show. Very nude, corally red lips, very a lot of angular, um, kind of rosy, dusty orange blush. And then on the eyes, basically nothing, just some very bold lashes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is exfoliate your lips and that sounds really gross but you want to make sure you get all the dead skin cells off your lips so your lipstick will apply really smoothly because this look is really um, all about the lips and the cheeks so you want to make sure the application for both of those is perfect. So I'm going to be using my Corez Lip Butter and Guava. This is one of my favorite products because it's super moisturizing. If you can see, you probably can't tell but I've used almost all of this and it's so moisturizing and it fills in the lines and the cracks in your lips but it also kind of makes my lip color a little less noticeable almost as kind of like a lip base so that's kind of an added bonus and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to my lips then I'm going to let that sit for about three to five minutes so then I'll come back with you guys alright so now I am going to be using a lip liner and this color is from Rimmel London and this is their Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Red Diva. And in the photo, it's kind of a reddish coral, very, very intense. So that's what it looks like. So this red lip liner is going to give the perfect base for our lipstick. And we're actually using all drugstore products today. And the lipstick we're going to be using is 626. And this is by Revlon. And this is in Cha Cha Cherry. And it's actually kind of a... Um, kind of a corally red so it's perfect for this lip color and we're going to build it up so intensely there's the true color and we're going to get the desired look that is from the Michael Kors Spring Collection so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill my lips in with this I'm gonna fill all of my lips in so I have a really nice base for our beautiful lipstick color so I'll see you guys in a minute drove 1100 miles to find a photograph I lost just a Polaroid I used to keep of a girl that I once loved and sleeping leads to nightmares cause I never can forget so now I'm dreaming of Los Angeles as the wind Find our lips and I look a little bit crazy right now but we are going to go ahead and take the Cha Cha Cherry Lip Color by Revlon and put it on over the lip liner. So then I'll do that and come back to you guys as well. There is our lip color. Very nice. Very intense perfectly matte like the photo but now we need to add a couple more things so we need to do some really exaggerated very angular blush I'm going to take a tinted moisturizer and just put a little bit on my cheeks to give me a little bit more of an even skin tone the girl in the photo has very nice um, pretty fair skin so I'm going to not add any bronzer or anything I'm just going to be using my Gemma Kid and this is the Skin Rescue moisturizer tinted moisturizer I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my cheeks so I'll do that real quickly and I'll come back. Who asked if we'd like to see God? And I'm not one for missed adventures. So I answered with a smile. And we spent the night on razor's edge. All innocence and sin. Once I have done that and I have a little bit more of an even skin tone, you really want that if you're going to be doing exaggerated blush because if you have like all splotchy skin, it's not going to look very good. So I'm going to take a blush brush like this and this is a MAC 165, I can barely read the letters, but 165 looks like this and we're really going to angle it down the cheekbones like this, not so much on the apples because this is how our model has it on and she obviously has some amazing cheekbones but we're going to try to mimic that look. Now I'm strung out on the Bowery as the winter closes in. I said I'm strung out on the Bowery as the There we go. And for those of you who don't like blush, 
this is not a look for you, but I personally, I love the blush with this because it's such a very, a very high fashion looking look and it's very, very light on all the other makeup. It's really your lips and the blush that's going to stand out. So now moving on to eyes, just because I have to kind of finish the look off. Um, the model doesn't have like barely any eye makeup on that I can see, but she does have some really long lashes. So I already have a bit of mascara on, but I'm just going to um, curl my lashes a little bit and then add a little bit more mascara. I'm going to add just a little bit more of my YSL Photo Seals Mascara just to give me some really, really long, exaggerated lashes because that is what the model is wearing. And this is nice because you don't have to do any eyeshadow, none of that. No eyeliner, just some mascara. Alright, so there's that. And then that is the full look. It's um, You have the lips like the model, the very long, ooh, focus camera, the very long dark lashes, um, the very angular, lots of blush, and it looks very similar to our photo. Not that I look anything like the model, but the makeup at least looks similar. But to finish off this true look, I am going to put my hair in a slicked back ponytail to really show off the makeup. So this is an optional thing, but the model has it, so I think we might as well do it as well. So I'm just going to slick back my hair. And put it in a mid ponytail. So there is our finished look with the slicked back high fashion pony. Um, very long, dark lashes, no eye makeup besides that, very angular, lots of blush, and our beautiful corally pink lips, very matte, of course. And this was our inspiration photo from the Michael Kors Spring Collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you guys so much for watching.